Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make the paper flower featured on this card. It's really a lot easier than it looks. And you can tell this card is very bumpy so it won't go through the mail, but it's a great card to hand deliver. Here's some other samples of the um, of the paper flowers, the roses. You can use different punches. This is the largest scallop circle punch. This one is the blossom punch. You can kind of see it on the back. So it gives it just a little bit of a different look to have a different shape. Here's one using the floral framelits. You can also use just regular circles. The one on the card, I used the new one and a quarter inch circle, scallop circle punch. This is from the holiday catalog, the Stampin' Up! holiday catalog that started August 1st, and you can get that in my online store. But I'm going to show you how to use it, um, to, or how to make the flower using the, um, the large scallop circle today, just because it's a little bit easier to handle and to see what's going on. So I've used the Raspberry Ripple cardstock, one of the new in colors, and I punched six of the scallop circles. I'm going to take them together. They don't have to be lined up perfectly. And use the paper piercing pad and paper piercing needle to pierce a hole right in the center. And I'm going to take a brad and stick it all the way through all six layers so that I have them all together. Then I'm going to use the Stampin' Spritzer tool. This comes in a package of two, and it comes empty, so you can fill it up with any liquid, water, rubbing alcohol. You could even use bleach if you wanted to. But for this project, we're going to use water. Um, and you're just going to start by spraying the top layer of the flower. This, By getting the cardstock wet, you're um, softening the fibers so that you can mold them and, and have them however you want. Now, um, it will take a little while to dry, so this is something you're going to want to do ahead of time and once it dries it will hold that shape. Okay, so you're going to just sort of scrunch it up to the middle and then you're going to go back and wet the second layer and kind of fold that and mold that and scrunch it up. You're going to keep going, spraying each layer as you go. can see it taking taking shape a little bit better here. The, the first one you're going to do really tight and then you sort of get looser with each layer. And there's your finished flower. And like I said, you'll need to um, set it aside and allow it to dry for a couple hours before you put it on your card. Here again is the card that I created using the smaller one and a quarter inch scallop circle punch. The larger one would be great on packages or gift tags or you could even use that on a card too. That would be very gorgeous. So there you have it. If you'd like a print tutorial, um, a printable tutorial to make the flower um, paper flowers, please visit my blog at juliedavison.com slash paperflowers.pdf. Thank you for watching. See you next time.